So, for equipment today, if you have a stability ball at home, grab one, um, and then some weights, okay? So we're gonna start this morning by doing a Pilates boxer with no weights. So what we do here is we're gonna hinge forward, we're gonna punch forward with one hand, back with the other, and then we stand up, hinge forward, punch forward, and back with the other hand. So it's a hinge and a punch, hinge and a punch, okay? Right here, one side, and then the other, lengthening those arms out, like this. Make sure you're breathing. All right, couple more here. Maybe two. And one, stand it up. We're gonna do a reverse lunge with a twist. So we're gonna take a group step back, twist towards that back foot, come back up to center, reverse lunge, twist right there, and back to center. Very good. Chest nice and tall. We're breathing. Do a few more here, one more each side. All right, very good, come to center. We're gonna do a walk out um, burpee, no push up. So we're gonna come down to the floor with the hands, step out, step out, step in, step in, and up, okay? So just down, step, step, and up. Keep it going. Warming up the body. Do two more here. Two. And one more. All right, stand it up. Let's go back to that Pilates box, okay? So hinge and punch forward and back. Hinge and punch forward and back. One side and then the other. Body should be feeling a little bit more warmed up. Breathing is probably increasing a little bit. That's good. Give me one more each side. Stand tall. Let's do some reverse lunges with the twist. Okay? Reverse lunge, twist, back to center. Reverse lunge, twist, back to center. See if you can take it a little deeper. On round two. One more each side. All right, let's do some walkout burpees. So hands come down to the floor, step out, out, in, in, and up, down, step, step, in, in, and up. Very good. Keep it going. Let's do two more of these. And one more. And up. All right. Step touch right here for me for a second. So if you missed it, equipment today, stability ball, if you have one. If not, grab like a chair or a coffee table and then some weights. We're gonna be starting with an upper body and a lower body move. We're gonna be doing bicep curls with the upper body and a reverse lunge with the legs, okay? So I'm gonna grab a set of dumbbells for this. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a wide curl. So a wide curl, my hands are coming out to the side as we do a lunge, okay? So we're gonna step back into that reverse lunge, give me a wide curl right here at the bottom, come to center, and then when I come to center, I'm gonna do a hammer curl right here, weights parallel to the feet. Then I'll lunge back with the other leg, okay? And do a wide curl, and then at the top, a, a hammer curl, okay? So I'm gonna face you guys so you can see the arms, but we're reverse lunging with the feet, okay? So step back into that reverse lunge at the bottom, wide curl, come up to center, hammer curl. Let's go back with the other foot. Lunge, wide curl, come back to center, 
hammer curl, okay? Let's keep it going. Wide curl, center, hammer. Arms are gonna do a lot. They've got this. Very good. Again. Breathe for me. Center. Wide. And center. And I don't have Noel here counting for me. So you guys are all just gonna have to hope <laughs> that I'm counting right. Give me one more. Reverse lunge with that wide curl. Come up, give me the last center curl. All right, very good. So this next one, I'm gonna recommend you go a little lighter on the weight. We're gonna be doing a front raise as part of it, which is why you wanna go a little lighter. So we're gonna do an upright row first. We're gonna stand, feet hip width apart for a nice, good, stable base. We pull up through the center as the elbows go out, okay? We bring the arms back down, so that's part one. Part two is a forward raise, right there up to shoulder height. We turn to the side, go up to shoulder height, and bring it back down, okay? So upright row, and then forward raise. Now, if your arms are getting tired, instead you can go upright row, do one forward raise. Remember which one you did. Upright row, do the other side, forward raise, okay? All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. Here we go, stand nice and tall. Upright row, forward raise. Upright row, and forward raise. Keep it going. Bonus points for smiling on a Monday morning. Keep it going. We're gonna call that halfway. Arms are feeling it, but we're almost there. Just two more. Give me one more. Very good. All right, so for this next one, weights are optional. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. We are going to be kneeling and standing. Sounds easy enough, right? So I'm gonna come down to a high kneel. I'm gonna bring one knee forward, one knee forward, stand up. Then I'm gonna come down, down, do the other leg coming up first, up, up, down, down. We're gonna add a little pump action with the arms, okay? So I pump, 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 pump. So if you want, you could add some dumbbells to your hands with that little pump motion, okay? Join me down here on the floor. Step one foot forward, pump that arm. Other foot forward, stand it up. Reverse it down and down. All right, try to remember to switch your lead leg. That was a reminder for myself right there. The leg that's taking you up first, okay? Down and up, here we go. Keep it going, nice and tall. Couple more. Give me three more. This is the last one. All right, nice job. So our next move is also gonna be on the ground. We're gonna be coming to an all fours position, but we're gonna be grabbing one weight for a tricep kickback, okay? So I'm gonna grab a weight right here. And on all fours, I'm gonna stabilize myself, bring this arm up, it's gonna kick back and in, so straightening and bending. So that is our level one. You're using your core to help balance yourself. Level two is to take this opposite foot of the hand with the weight, and it can be right here rested, or it can be lifted up right here. Okay, so you decide. We'll do 10 kickbacks one side, 10 the other. All right, I'm gonna lift that back foot. Here we go. Bring the arm up, straighten and bend. Straighten 
and bend. Here we go. Breathe for me. Feeling it in those arms, nice and strong, nice and stable. Give me two more. Two. And one. Very good. Then we're going to go to the other side, okay? So the weight comes to that other hand. We're going to find that center. We want the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I'm going to lift that opposite foot, bring that weight up, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Keep it going. Very good. Three more. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Made it through. All right, so then we're going to be using the ball for the next couple of exercises if you have one. If not, don't worry. I will give you some um, substitute exercises, okay? So the first exercise that we are going to be doing is a jackknife. We have done these before. Let me demonstrate. Then I'll show you a way to take it up a notch, and then I'll show you a way to do it without a ball, okay? So a regular jackknife, we want to have our feet on the ball. I usually come, put my stomach on the ball, roll my feet out. Let me move back. I'm leaving the screen. All right, there we go. So we're right here. We're gonna bend the knees under the body and then take them back out. Bend under the body, take them out, okay? If you're really looking to take this up a notch, you can take one foot off the ball, curl in and out, in and out. If you're feeling that advancement, you'll do five one leg, five the other, okay? If you don't have a ball, you can use an elevated surface like a chair, a coffee table, and you're gonna come elevate those feet right here, bring one knee under, other knee under, okay? like you're doing an elevated mountain climber. All right, so get to where you wanna be with the equipment that you have. I'm gonna roll out so I'm on my ball with my ankles and my feet kind of on the top there. Okay, so remember level one is to bring them both in. If you want, you're welcome to try the single leg, okay? It's very hard. I'm gonna do double this time. That's halfway, guys, give me five more. If you were doing single leg, make sure you switch to the other leg. Give me one more. Very good, come off that ball. All right, so then we're going to be doing an ab move on the floor. I'm gonna be taking this ball in between my feet, okay? And if you don't have a ball, this one you just do the same movement, but no ball. So I'm gonna put the ball in between my feet, bring my legs up. I'm gonna do a crunch, a double leg lower, bend it in, take it up to the top, crunch, double leg lower, bend it in, back up to the top. So if you don't have a ball, Crunch, leg lower, cycle the legs in, back up to the top. All right? All right. Let's do 10 of these babies. Here we go. Crunch, leg lower, cycle it in, back up. Crunch, leg lower, cycle it in, back up. You've got it. Halfway, guys. You can gently cradle the hand, not the hand, the head with those fingertips. Two more. Give me one more, that last crunch, that last leg lower. Whew. Nice job, guys. So for the next one, it's a plank variation with the ball. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you how to modify it, how to do it without a ball, okay? So, we're gonna be doing a forearm plank on the ball. So all that means is that the forearms are on the ball instead of the hands, okay? So we come to the forearms. 
We'll come up into that plank and find our position. Now this is challenging enough. If you are still working on your planks or you're not used to doing a plank on the ball, you'll just stay there the whole time. If you want to take it up a notch, we're going to come up and we're going to do a knee drive, knee drive where we're tapping that ball with one knee and then the other. Okay. So if you don't have a ball, you can also do this on the floor where you come to a forearm plank right here and bring your knee under. Sometimes it's hard to have the clearance to do the knee under with a forearm plank. So you're also welcome to come to like a sofa, an elevated surface right here, forearm plank, knee under, knee under. All right. So let's do 10 of those. Since the knees are coming in, we're going to do 10 each knee. Okay, hang in there, do what you can. Come up to that forearm plank, whatever option you're taking, knee and knee, knee and knee. Try and maintain good plank form. Think about keeping the hips from sagging, keeping the butt low, keep it going. Maybe four more each side. Breathe. Maybe one more each side. All right. Come on down. Whew. Nice job, guys. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a, a move without the ball. We're going to do an overhead press, but we're going to be doing this seated, okay? Either seated on a chair or, seat, or you can come to kneeling on the knees, okay? So, I'll grab my weights, and if you're seated, you're right here, sitting nice and tall. Maybe the camera will come to me. I think I'm right off the screen. Anyway, you can do it seated, or you can come to the knees, okay? So I'm gonna come to my knees on my mat, just so you can see me better. I'm gonna bring those weights up to shoulder height. We're gonna take it overhead for 10, okay? Here we go. Extend up, and bring it down. Up, and down. Breathe, guys. Three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Bring those weights down. All right, so those are the exercises for our circuit today. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink, tell yourself off, take a few deep breaths, and then we're going to get going with round two. You know the exercises now, so you can kind of make decisions about what types of weights you want to use, um, what level of difficulty you want to try. So we're going to start with that reverse lunge with a wide curl at the bottom and then a hammer curl at the top. All right. So I actually went a little lighter on my weights than what I typically do for a bicep curl, just because we're actually doing twice as many bicep curls as we typically would, okay, since we're doing a wide curl and a center curl. All right, so let's stand nice and tall. Take that lunge back, wide curl, come up to center, hammer curl, okay? Reverse lunge back, wide curl, come to center, center curl. Very good. Keep it going. Keep that chest raised. Watch your balance. Got it. Halfway through. Got two more, okay? Just two more of these. And one more. Very good. So we're going to be doing the upright row and the forward raise next, okay? So alternating one and then the other. Remember, if your arms are getting tired, you can do one front arm raise. Just remember which one you did. Do the upright row and then do the other side. All right, so stand nice and tall. 
Bring the hands up through the center, elbows out to the side, bring it down, and forward raise. Upright row, and forward raise. Again. Keep it going. We've got this. Halfway. Breathe for me. I know I'm breathing. Two more. And one more. This is quite the shoulder burn. Finish it off. Nice. All right. Then we've got that kneel to stand with the pump arms. So you're welcome to bring some weights along. You're welcome to do it without any weights at all. Okay. We're going to come down to that kneel. We're going to stand up with a pump, up with a pump, down and down. Come up with the other leg. Okay. Down and down. This is nice and controlled. We're not taking it too fast. Keep it going. Breathe for me. Got two more after this one. Two more. Last one. Finish it on the ground. All right. We're going to do the tricep kickback next from all fours. Okay? So you need one weight. Decide which hand can hold that weight first. Come to that all fours position. Get the knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Take that opposite foot back. If you want to do this harder option, and I'm going to lift that foot up. Bring that elbow high. Straighten behind and bend it in. Straight behind, bend it in. Keep it going. Remember, you can keep both knees on the ground. That is definitely an option. Give me four more. And three, two, and one. Very good. We'll switch to the other side. So set it up again. All fours, distribute that weight evenly across the body. If you want, take that foot back. I'm going to lift mine up. Raise that elbow high. Straighten behind and bend. Straighten and bend. Working that arm, working the core. Doing double duty. Got two more. Two and one. Very good. Come back to center. All right, so then we are to the jackknife um, on the ball if you have one, or to that elevated uh, mountain climber if you don't have a ball. Again, you're welcome to try doing that single leg one. Um, if not, don't worry about it. It's a very difficult move. It's hard for me to do and teach, so we'll see if I can pull off I might just end up doing the double one myself. So I'm going to come onto my ball, roll out. Got those ankles and feet there. I'm going to take one foot off, curl in and out, curl in and out. Very good. Halfway, if you're doing single leg, switch to the other one. If you're doing double leg, keep it going. One more, guys. Very good. Nice. All right. We're going to come off the ball, come down to the ground. Crunch, double leg drop, cycle the legs back up to the top. Here we go. You can do this without a ball as well. So a crunch, double leg lower, cycle up to the top. Crunch, double leg lower. Cycle up to the top. Keep it going. Very good. 
halfway. Gently cradling that head. Two more. Give me one more. Crunch. Lower. Nice. All right. Then we have that forearm plank with the knee drive, okay? Where we're tapping that ball with the knee or you're just holding that forearm plank, okay? That is also a really good exercise. Remember, this one can also be done off of an elevated surface, like a sofa or such, um, if you don't have a ball. All right, I'm gonna get my forearms on there, lift up into that plank. Hold on, I've got like my feet trapped by all my stuff. All right, up into that plank, knee and knee. Very good, keep it going. Remember to breathe. Check your form every now and again. Four more. Two more. One more. All right, thumb down for me. We finish the circuit with that seated overhead press. And we take a sip of water, a little breather. So I'm going to do my overhead press on my knees. You're also welcome to do it seated. Doing it either on the knees or seated, um, make sure you use a little bit more of your core strength to do that overhead press. That's why we do it different sometimes. All right, we're on the knees where we're seated. Arms come up to shoulder height. Send them up and back down. Up and back down, very good. Halfway. This also helps you um, from punching your ceilings if you're tall. Give me one more. All right, grab a sip of water, and then you know what we do, we're gonna do it again. So fun, right? That is exactly what I'm sure you were all thinking. So I appreciate you all being here, whether you think it's fun or not. <laughs> all right, so grab that sip of water, take a few nice deep breaths, shake some everything out if it needs to be shaken out, okay? We're gonna be starting at the top with that wide curl with the reverse lunge, center curl in the center, and then we reverse lunge with the other side, wide curl, center curl, okay? So grab some weights. They're going to work for that move for you. Get into position, okay? Starting with the wide curl. Here we go. Reverse lunge, wide curl at the bottom. For the top, hammer curl. Reverse lunge, other side, wide curl at the bottom, hammer curl. Reverse lunge. Very good. Halfway. Keep it going. Two more guys. One more. Very good. Whew. Then we'll do the upright row with the forward raise. I'm gonna grab my lighter weights for this one. Shoulders are gonna be tired, okay? Do what you can. Remember you can even alternate arms on the forward raise. All right, here we go. Upright row. Forward raise, upright row, forward raise. Stand nice and tall. You've got it. Just 
coming up to shoulder height, no higher. Four more. Two more. One more. All right. Okay, then we're gonna do that kneel to stand with the pump arms. You can use weights or you cannot use weights. Okay, so come down to the floor, step forward, forward, back, back, leave with the other leg. Alternating which leg brings you up to the top. Very good. Halfway through. This is your get up off of the floor move. One more each side. Last one. Very good. Stay down on the ground. Go to our tricep kickback from all fours, okay? So grab one weight. We're gonna come to that all fours position. Equally balance the body. I'm gonna bring that opposite leg up, okay? Elbow comes up high, straight behind and bend, straight behind and bend. Very good. Still try and keep that body evenly distributed across the appendages that are still on the ground. Give me three, two, and one. Very good. Let's do the other side. We come to all fours, okay? If you're lifting that opposite leg, bring it up. Elbow comes up high, straight in and bend. Straight in and bend, very good. Keep it going. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, then we're coming to the ball, okay? So we'll do either the double jackknife, single jackknife, or you can do an elevated um, mountain climber, okay? I'm gonna grab my ball. I'm gonna roll out so my feet are on top. There we go. All right, double or single, here we go. In and out. I'm gonna have to do double, which is fine. If you're doing single, switch halfway through. Five more. Two more. One more. Very good. Come off that ball. All right, crunch. Double leg lower, okay? Cycle the legs back to the top. That's what's next. Come down to the floor. If you're using that ball, get the ball in between the feet. Crunch it up. Lower the legs. Cycle back up to the top. Crunch it up. Lower. And cycle. Make sure that that crunch is being driven by the abs and not by the head or the neck. Halfway. Keep it up. Got two more after this one. You can do it. One more. All right. Nice job, guys. So then we have to do that forearm plank with the knee drives or just hold the forearm plank, okay? Also a really good option. So come up, got my forearms on the ball, I'm gonna step it up, bring one knee in and then the other. Here we go. Looking good, I'm sure. Halfway. Two more each knee. 
One more. Come down. All right, then we put the ball to the side. We do that overhead press. Seated or on the knees. I'm gonna be on my knees. Bring those weights up to shoulder height. Let's take them overhead and back down. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Breathe. Halfway. Three. Two. And one. Nice. All right. Get a sip of water. Take a little break. Then I'll let you know, let you know what we're doing next. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do the circuit again, but we're going to cut it in half, okay? So we'll do half as many reps. Um, your body can give yourself a little yay. I know I'm excited to not have to do 10 of everything myself, okay? So do take into consideration, since it is half as many, really focus on form. And if you feel like you want to move up in weights for this last final round, and do something a little heavier, please feel free to do so, okay? So we're gonna start with the reverse lunge with the wide curl, then the center curl at the top, okay? All right, so I've got my weights, just five of these, okay? Sorry, I'm just pausing to think. We're gonna do six of the lunges because we do have to do each side. So sorry about that, but everything else will be five. Just want to keep your body even, that's all. Okay, so reverse lunge, wide curl, come up to the top, hammer curl. Reverse lunge, wide curl, come up to the top, hammer curl. Very good. Lunge, curl, center, curl. All right, so we're gonna do just one more each side, okay? One more lunge each side, two more sets of curls. Go get it. There it is. All right, then we'll do the upright row forward raise. Just five of these. So stand nice and tall. Here we go. Upright row, forward raise. Upright row, and that forward raise. I use my core a lot on this one to help my body stay nice and tall and not sway forward and back. One more. Very good. All right. Kneel to stand with those pump arms, okay? This is one we're gonna do six of as well, okay? Just to keep those legs even. And you're like, we could have done four. I know, but we're gonna do six. All right, so step forward, forward, take it down, down, other leg leads, forward, forward, down, down, chest is raised. Keep it going. Final stretch here, guys. One more each leg. Final one, and back down. All right, we are to the all fours tricep kickback. We'll do five each side. So grab one weight, find that all fours position, okay? Balance yourself, bring up that back leg if you'd like, elbow comes high, straighten and bend. Straighten and bend, very good. That's five. We'll switch to the other side. All right, bring it over here. Here we go. I'm gonna lift that leg, arm comes up, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Two more, two, and one. Very good. All right, then we're 
to our ball exercises, okay? So we will start with the jackknife. I'm gonna do a double leg. If you are doing a single leg, I'll probably ask you to do three each side. So take that into consideration. All right. So get onto that ball, or you can do an elevated mountain climber. Find the balance. Let's curl under and back out. Under and back out. One more. Flies by when you're only doing five. All right. Now we've got the ball crunch double leg drop, okay? Cycle back to the top. I'm gonna grab that ball. We're gonna crunch it up. Here we go. Crunch. Double leg lower. Cycle up. Crunch. Double leg lower. Cycle back up. We've got two more of these. One more. Very good. Woo. And then we have the forearm plank with the knee taps, okay? So I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up on top of my ball with my forearms. You can also come to a sofa, um, whatever you have. Do a forearm plank on the ground. Find that nice plank position, okay? And here we go. Bring the knees in. Knees in. One more set. Nice. Come on down. Then we have our seated overhead press, okay? So grab your weights for that overhead press. Stick that ball over to the side. Come to the knees or have a seat, okay? Let's do 10 of these guys. Bring those weights up. Extend up overhead, bring it down. Up overhead and back down. Breathe for me. Give me one more. Nice. All right. Before we get directly into our stretch, we're going to do a little mobility challenge. Um, you're like, what? Um, we're going to test our hip mobility, okay? Um, let me grab a sip of water and I'll show you. So, I'm going to come off my mat. Um, you're welcome to do this on your mat. I just get mine all twisted up when I do it. We're going to come down to the floor, and we're going to take one leg in front and one leg behind, and we're going to make 90 degrees as best we can with both of them, okay? We're going to sit up nice and tall. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate over to the other side. You can use the hands as much or as little as you need to. And then we're here. Then we rotate, hands come and help as needed, to the other side. So this is a test of how um, mobile your hips are. If this is like impossible to do, um, make this a goal, something that you want to work up to doing, okay? Hands can even come behind, help support you as you roll from one side to the other, okay? So if you can't do this at all, come down to the seated position and then just try leaning forward a little bit and feeling that stretch, okay? But if you can, come with me here, one side and then the other. And if you're just working on getting that stretch, stretch one side and go to the other, okay? Mobility is super important. We all wanna keep moving, doing the things that we love, especially if you're like an athlete who really enjoys like running like I do or cycling or anything where you're moving in one plane of motion, you really wanna make sure that your body is also being tested in these other planes of motion so that it can keep moving for everyday activities as well as keep you stable during those one plane of motion activities. All right, come back to center. Let's stretch it out. We're gonna take our legs out nice and wide, sit nice and tall, and then just start to walk the hands forward just as much as feels comfortable. For some people, that's going to be sitting upright. You're going to feel stretch right here like this. 
The rest of us, walk those hands out as best you can, and you're gonna start feeling this down the hamstrings, okay? Lean into it in a comfortable way. And start taking those deep breaths. Walk your hands over to one of the legs and lean into it. You can even grab that foot if you'd like, or you can stay right here on the leg. And again, you might be sitting pretty upright, but as long as you're feeling a stretch, that's all that matters. Take some nice, deep breaths. Now walk those hands over to the other side. And again, just lean as much or as little into this as feels good. You're welcome to reach for the toe. If it feels good, you're welcome to stay with the hands on the legs. Just listen to your body. Do what it wants you to do. Let's sit up, bring those legs together. We're gonna bend a knee, cross it over, hug that knee to your chest, sit nice and tall. Take that other arm behind and look over your shoulder. Back to center, let's do the other side. Hug that knee in, sit nice and tall. Take the arm behind and look over the shoulder. Come back to center. We're going to come to all fours. We're going to start with a cat cow stretch um, just to stretch out the back, okay? So all fours, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's round up and round down. Look forward, round up, down, and look forward. You can hold in each position as long as you would like if it's feeling good for you. One more of these. Let's thread the needle. So come back to center. This is the eye of our needle. Take your arm through. Lean as much or as little into the arm as feels good. And kind of relax into the stretch. Enjoy the stretch. Enjoy your body calming down. Let's come back to center and do the other side. Thread that arm through. Lean as much or as little into it as feels good. back to center. We're going to kick these hands out in front of us. Reach forward and sit back in child's pose. A couple more deep breaths. Try not to fall asleep. Let's come back to all fours. We're going to tuck those toes under, press up and back into downward dog. 
go ahead and cycle those feet, pressing one heel and then the other towards the ground. One heel and then the other. Now press both heels towards the floor. Come back to the knees. We're gonna flip over and lay on our back, okay? So take one leg to the floor, bend that other knee, hug that knee towards the chest. Couple nice deep breaths right here. And take that opposite hand, Grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. Arms lay out to the side. Try and keep those shoulders on the ground. Or I should say one arm lays out to the side. The other one is on that knee. Bring this knee back to center. Let's do that other knee. Bring it towards the chest. Grab it, hug it towards the chest. Take a few nice deep breaths right here. Take that opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. The other arm lays out to the side. Bring that knee back to center. Keep this knee here. Bring this other knee up. Hug both those knees. Nice and wide. You can add a little rocking motion side to side if it feels good. You can stay here or you're welcome to take those feet up into happy baby. Grabbing the feet. And again, you can add that rocking motion. And bring your body back to center. We're going to go into figure four. So release the feet or the knees. Cross an ankle over the opposite thigh. Thread those hands through and grab the bottom leg. And gently pull. Other side, cross that ankle, grab the bottom leg, and release. Bring those feet down to the ground, grab the backs of your legs, and pull yourself up. We're gonna stretch the triceps really quick. Bring an elbow up towards the sky. Grab that elbow and gently pull. Let's release and do the other side. Release that one. Let's do one deep breath all together. Okay, let's inhale our arms up. Exhale our arms down. Thank you for being here this morning. Um, if you have any feedback on